this morning, on this 4th of July. A lot of people have their minds uh, on the troops right now, including a pretty popular beer company. It was one of the most popular uh, ad campaigns of the Super Bowl. It was a series of one-second ads. Watch this, but you need to watch closely. What's my line? One Mississippi. Bonjour, Milwaukee. Happy can. Champagne and beer. Busy. <laughs> Miller High Life, that famous pitch man, got another message now, a serious one here, though. Support American troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. The company wants you to mail beer caps and beer tabs back to them. And in exchange, they will donate up to a million dollars to a fund to help soldiers and their families have a little fun. Here's the new Miller High Life commercial. Look at this one. See you, buddy. Uh, pardon me. These vets must be here for the parade. Would you look at that? Paying to have a designer's name all over your luggage. What is that? Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Whose name is on your duffel bag? My name. Connor Bryant. Now that's deserving a piece of the high life. Miller High Life is saluting vets of Iraq and Afghanistan. Now for every bottle cap return, 10 cents will be donated to help give vets a piece of the high life. Well, joining us now, two guys. They look like brothers from another mother, don't they? Uh, actor Wendell Middlebrooks and also the executive director of the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America, Paul Rykoff. Gentlemen, thank you both for being here. Wendell, good to have you back on the show with a much different message this time around. Tell me, what was the thought for Miller to, to go this route and try something else? Something a little different this time. Well, well, first of all, good to see you again, TJ, and thank you for having us back. And good morning, Paul. Hey, um, the, last, the last time we were here, we were giving back. Because, you know, after you take back the high life so much, it, it comes the responsibility. Well, we're taking it back from a certain group, but who's a group we should be giving it to? And so this time, we've decided that it's time that we honor our veterans, uh, especially on this 4th of July weekend. So we want to give veterans of America a piece of the high life. So... As they're returning, man, we want them to get back to um, just the quality of life that we've been enjoying as they've been over sacrificing. So we want to give them tickets to games and NASCAR races and concerts, just where they can have time to come back and enjoy with their family. Well, well Paul, so, what, yeah, oh, sorry there, Wendell, but Paul, what did you think you know, about this idea? We often, everybody wants to help out troops in one way or another, and quite frankly, the more beer people drink, the more they can help out. So what did you think, Paul, about this campaign? Uh, it's a great way to, to connect with our troops and veterans. It's common sense, and, and it's really exciting to kick this off on July 4th. I'm down in San Diego right now, and for the 4th of July, we're going to have a 1,000 Iraq and Afghanistan veterans and their families at the Padres game. That's a great opportunity for them to come together, have a nice day, enjoy the July 4th uh, holiday weekend, and understand that their, their country really cares about them. So Miller High Life's really stepping up here, and it gives all Americans a way to get involved and, and to really connect with our veterans, which is what we need not just on July 4th, but throughout the summer throughout the year. And, and Wendell, am I, am I selling this the wrong way? Uh, should I not be saying, hey, go out there and drink as much beer as you can and help the troops? I, I guess that, that's, that's, oh, no, I shouldn't no. pitch it that way. <laughs> well, man, the thing is, you know, Fourth of July, you're going to be drinking anyway. So with the <laughs> high life, you can now take that and give back to something that's very important. And so that's all it is. People have been asking, what can I do to say thank you? You know, so it's not taking anything from you, but instead of being lazy and throwing it in the trash can, take your bottle caps and pull taps, to grocery stores, to bars, mail them in, and then now you're helping the veteran get to have a good time with his family, and I think that's great. And, and Paul, what can this money go towards, this uh, million bucks possibly up to this million dollars? What could you guys do with that money? Well, Wendell when, when mentioned it's going to provide thousands of experience for vets and their families, NASCAR pit passes, the Major League Baseball All-Star Game, but it's also going to support our work at IAVA. Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America, we provide educational support, employment opportunities, mental health support, family support, and that's going to go a long way for the two million men and women who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now, Wendell, what's this like for you to, uh, and, and I, you know, I should probably ask you this, I, I, are we starting to see... Yeah. Uh, a, a softer, gentler side now of Miller. We're so used to the funny commercials, but the last time I talked to you, that was around the Super Bowl, and you all were donating yeah. that time to, to tough people, to, uh, to, to businesses who were having a tough time the, with the economy. So you all are yeah. now taking up some pretty serious campaigns, quite frankly. Oh, yeah, man. And no, you, you're seeing a softer side. I mean, we're still funny and still acting a nut. Now, that <laughs> won't change, but the heart is there. You know what I mean? It comes a point where you're like, 
how can we really make a difference? And then with Miller Coors, the power that they have, they've decided that we want to we want to start this movement of giving back. And so if we start it, then we have many followers. We have many beer drinkers who will follow with us and who uh, will contribute to that. And so this is just starting this movement to get everybody involved. And so. No, it's not, I, I, I won't say a softer side. I say we're still talking noise and taking back the high life, but now we're giving it to people who deserve it. All right, Paul, you're going to have a high life or two this weekend? Absolutely, and with Wendell for sure. <laughs> gentlemen, Paul. Oh, yeah, we're going to have more than two. Oh, more than two, Paul, <laughs> Wendell. Gentlemen, good to see you both, really. Uh, another new and innovative campaign, uh, but good luck with it. Paul, Wendell, good to see you guys. Thanks so much. Hope to catch up with you again down the road. Thanks, TJ. Thank we appreciate you, TJ. it.